tributes are pouring in following the death of cartoonist Murray Ball, who was responsible for the iconic Foot, Foot Rot Flats comic strip and the movie as well. Wally, come home! Dim lights, the best feed in town. Oh, Wall, you do. Come home, or I'll break your leg! Get out of it, dog. Get out of it. Leave a man alone. Sorry about that, Jiggy. Alas, poor Wallace. I knew him well. Oh, they were so loved, those uh, those comic strips, and indeed the movie was so popular too. Are you uh, somebody who collected the books yourself? Uh, somebody who knows it intimately is Tom Scott. He was the screenwriter, a good friend of Murray Ball, and a cartoonist on the Foot Rot Flats movie. Morning, Tom. Morning. Good morning. You <laughs> recognise John Clark's voice in there. He played Wall. Yeah, of course, who we know so well here in, uh, in Australia too. Yeah, yeah, and the animator Robert was uh, an Australian, and the guy who did the background illustrations was in Australian and the animation was done in Sydney so it was a Trans-Tasman production really and um, it's very popular on both sides of the Tasman the finished product. The, the characters that Murray came up with the, the animals, the talking animals, they were so funny and for so many of, the, of us you know we ripped through all the books that he put out as, many, as, as soon as he put one out you'd grab it and you'd read it and it was always hysterically funny. Tell us about the, the man behind the pen though, Murray Ball. Well, he, I saw him play as a junior wallback. He was a fantastic athlete in his youth. Thin, uh, wiry, fast. He looked like one of the Bee Gees before they lost their hair. He was a tall, good-looking guy. He had a beautiful, broad smile, and he was just funny. And he was terribly modest. He was very tough on himself. He, he, he was genuinely... He wasn't a calculated self-effacement. He was a genuinely modest guy and was embarrassed. that People made too much of a fuss of him. And he was funny. And kind. He mm. was just a great guy. And where did he get the idea for for dog and for horse and major, these amazing, you know, wonderful characters? Well, he grew up in the Manor or two, just down the road from, from me in a little town called Fielding, where the writer of the Rabbit Proof Fence came from as well. So Fielding is like the Athens of the Southern Hemisphere. John Clark was just up the road, Murray Ball down the road, and Christine Wilson, who wrote the Rabbit Proof Fence, was also uh, lived in Fielding at the same time. And what what, what was in the water, water Tom? Uh, well, it wasn't fluoride, I think. We were totally opposed to that at the time. Probably a lot of a lot of sheep droppings and, and, and cow urine. But there was something going on then because you know the uh, rabbit-free fence and footrod flats. And and Murray grew up on the farm, and he was a tremendously keen observer of what was going on. And he had a, he loved British comics, so he had a tremendous cartooning eye. And he also had a strong social conscience. He went to Britain and did a strip called Stanley, the Paleolithic Hero, in Punch magazine, and. Thatcher's Britain drove him back to New Zealand because he couldn't stand the inequality. And he started inventing a, a better world on paper than the world he was living in. So football flats was a kind of a retreat for him, really. And uh, he preferred that world to, to the one that uh, we were busy creating. Mm. And, and what about your favourite? There were so many great uh, moments within the Foot Rot Flats comic books and, of course, the film too. Is there one, though, that you, you really loved uh, after all these years? Oh, there were so many. There, there, one of my favourites was when Wall wanted to check to see whether the electric fence was still alive. It was out on the farm and it was <laughs> raining and water on the ground. He made the dog hold the fence. And the dog put his hand out and cut, clutched the wire and Wall said, oh, good, it's not live. And Wall grabs it and there's a huge shower of sparks and he's thrown about 20 feet backwards, howling in pain. And the dog's thought bubble is... I'd gladly take 5,000 volts to see that happen again. <laughs> yeah, touche. And, yeah. and working on the film too, there was an urban myth around for years and years that there was one frame, you know, 24 frames a second or whatever it is, there was one frame of a, of a very obscene photograph of one of the animators in there. But I take it that was just a, an urban myth. Oh, well, I've never heard about it. Oh, haven't um, you? Okay, I, all right. No, yeah. there, were, there, were, there were dogs, bollocks, and um, rams <laughs> genitalia. And were they? There was one shot, were they really? Yeah, and there was one shot of a, of a sheep um, uh, farting out a huge amount of pellets, which we, we thought would, would, would go, um, you know, be removed. But it wasn't Disney. Animal, um, Murray didn't like Disney animals who would uh, genitalia-free. He wanted his animals to, to look like real animals yeah. and... Um, and to be you know, authentic, anatomically correct. And was it fun to work on? Oh, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. I, I, I just loved it. I couldn't believe he, he asked me to work with him. And he said, no, no, you're the writer. You write this. And I would say, Murray, we need, why don't we just ransack your comic strip box for the, for the gags? Because mm. there's all these great gags you've already come up with. And he, he looked at me very piously, like Lincoln, and said, look, 
people are paying money to see a new experience. We, we can't ransack old gags. We're going to give them new ones. But he was so fecund and it's such a vivid imagination. It didn't take him long to come up with all sorts of new visual gags. Oh, it was just a joy. It was two years we worked together and we never had an argument. We laughed ourselves silly the whole time. Yeah. And well, we went off and had Italian meals and good, and good wine. What great memories, eh? Hey? Mm. Yeah. Hey, uh, thanks so much for, for sharing some of those experiences. Sorry for your loss, but uh, yeah, what, fan- oh, thank ta- you. what fantastic thank you. comics. Cheers. Really great. Good on you, Tom. Thank you. Uh, Tom Scott, who's a screenwriter, friend of Murray Ball, a cartoonist on the Foot Rot Flats movie. Oh, the shine, oh.